Welcome back, guys, to Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn, where we attack Lebegnian forces here with our army. Now, well, numbering quite a few more troops with Torneo and all that. Jill a little bit hurt. With Pegasus Knights coming, we are a little bit worried about our overall chances as we continue onwards. Let's just move up Laura then. And I guess Ileana as well, because why not? And end our turn. Now, where do we want you, Aran? Do we want you facing what's over there or just moving further this way? These are the questions for us. Let's get you somewhere in the middle. And then Volug can be around as well. Just to help out, if needed. Well, the Pegasus Knights come. The armor knights come as well, though we should be able to flee from them a little bit. All our units should have better movement values and just be able to get away while we deal with Pegasus Knights a billion. Well, two. But still. Oh, and Pegasus Knights more. Because we needed more, didn't we? Right, so. We can get round to heal Jill. Jill should be able to smack down Pegasus Knights quite nicely. In fact, if Jill stays where she is with a hand axe, I think she can actually do this without taking any damage back so I'd say Jill's got one of them and we need someone else to take the other Lance characters generally quite speedy as well means that we're not likely to get a double on them right away all right steel sword there times two won't do the job we've also got to worry about everyone here so a Steel Axe times one isn't going to do the damage required to take one of these guys down. Equally, they're not going to deal the damage back. We've got a Hammer there, Steel Sword. Oh, we're not going to put you on the front lines versus them, that's for sure. Aran's obviously got the defense to be able to attack these guys a fair bit on top of that. So maybe it's between Aran and Nolan to block off for the time being. A lot over here. So Steel Axe does that much. A Hand Axe will times two a little bit. What we're really worried about is Mr. Range Guy coming in. So if we stop you there, sir. And vulnerary you up. I want to get damage on them. And I know I can with Spellcasters. I'm just concerned about getting enough. For example, we could finally take one out there. We can lightning down another one. That's you again, isn't it? Sorry. Lightning is what we wanted. Well, it seems I don't have the speed to be able to take one down there. What damage can you do, sir, against them? Five in general? So if we count five... Then this amount here, which was 13 with the Elf Thunder. That's 18. And to be honest, we could then... Well, we can't even take them down then. So really, one of the things we should do is just defend this round, by the look of it. Right, if we take Micaiah to here... I actually want her standing where you are. We need defenders. Yeah, I think Aran could get to that spot, don't you? So if I take you here... And then use... A vulnerary just to top you up. It is a required thing. We then take... Micaiah to here. To knock down one with Farney. Which gets rid of one of those armor guys. And then we can stop the archer attack in a range by basically slotting Iran in the free spot. Which, what kind of damage can they do versus Iran? That's what I'm wondering. Supposedly the hammer wins that battle. That's only barely not being defeated by them as well, which is a bit worrying. Well, we've got Jill here to take down one of these guys with the hand axe at large. 
I do wonder if one of the other guys can take him down. When they're not, indeed they can, when they're not in the bushes. Now what is your overall range, sir? That's what I'm wondering as well. And then we've got Peg Knights galore to come in from the distances. Well, Edward, it seems we're always using you, more or less. And even with swords being the worst option. We're hoping to dodge this attack, to be honest. Nope, okay. Well, there goes one Peg Knight. I'll level up on top of that. Would you like to gain some defense at the moment? I do want strength, yes, but I kind of want some defense as well. Not magic defense, however. Seems Edward is one of my most used characters at the moment. Well, the other option we had, actually, was to stick Leonardo somewhere near, but apart from that, it doesn't look like that's really needed. And now, supposedly, there's also a treasure somewhere around here, but what we're going to do first is we're going to attack with you. Hand axe times two. That'll be beautiful. Finally fighting in the sky, not on the ground. It gives us a lovely perspective of the battlefield as well. Jill, you're just brilliant as always. And then Kanto, you back a little bit so you are nicely tucked in so that Laura can come and heal you. Alright, you should be safe to stay there. And then we will get Alan forward on top of that. So basically, we can still Lance times two. The Javelin would be four damage there. So Javelin at least gives me a reply on that guy when he tries to shoot me. Which might total to more damage in total. So we'll put that on. Wait there. That's said, actually. Hmm. Thinking about it, no archer can really get in here. So we can knock down the HP total of someone else a little bit more. A still sword to grab off you. Means we knock down your HP a little bit. Anyway. And then, to be honest, we can always move up and just yeah, do a little bit of pinging shots over as well for Leonardo. No criticals, but it's all damage all the same. Which then leaves Meg, useful, useful Meg, and Zihark to move forward as well, because you never know when enemies might appear. I just fancy getting Torneo to pick up Meg at this point in time. Right, supposedly there should be a treasure somewhere around this location for Soft to pick up. And indeed there is. Right, we'll send the coin back to the convoy. With Master Seal on us as well. Do you know what, Meg? Get in the middle of the bushes because, well, you'll surely be safer. You'll surely be safer. And Volug, which will move forward just a little bit here. To keep him there for emergency reasons. Did I forget to... Heal you? No, of course I didn't. Right, so some buff in defense and all that here from support. Won't take us that much longer to take you down. Now this is the more worrying exchange. I don't really want to get hit because the bow and arrow guy is there. He's going to be able to do a fair bit of damage as well. He only deals 10. Only. So we reply with Iran, who's going to have to, of course, retreat. And here comes the Peg Knights, which means, to be honest, we should stay pretty stable to... Oh. Well, Jill can take one. I say, oh, but Jill can take one. Um, apart from that, we don't have any longbows. We have no other way to get the other one, so we have to somehow end this with everyone protected and defended and that javelin guy down. 
that's actually how this turn goes. So, first of all, is Javelin Guy. Oh, who's fast enough? Oh, that's worrying. Not the most powerful of opponents, strength-wise, but it's the speed we're worrying about. Alright, so that's not what I wanted to do. What I want to do is list all the Peg Knight's range. And see what we can do from there. Most of them have the speed to be able to double. It's their attack and strength that's low enough, if you know what I mean. We need to create a blocking wall, but it's very hard considering. I mean, Iran can't even really get out of here properly at this point. Which is what he's going to need to do. And I know I'm not really considering too much here, but the one thing we definitely need to do is heal Iran. He is the most vulnerable target right now. And then take out the rest of these by the look of it. Can Jill take down any of these? Okay, Jill can take down one, which means we've got one javelin to worry about. One guy that can hit us from any range. Well, Jill has to take down that one all the same. That's kind of unnegotiable. That's the only way we can really protect our troops severely here. The one that needs most protecting is Laura, who probably will be picked up by someone, to be honest. I think that's the best way to deal with him. Alright, so... We've got the choice of a thunder, a slash there. I don't think Javelin Guy is going to do too much damage to people in general. It's about moving into spaces now and just taking care of some remaining troops. And yes, I can leave the spellcasters out there like that. I'm pretty sure that they won't be attacked because they're range. Of course, AI goes for people who can't fight back before anyone else. Received a hammer there. We'll send back the renewal. We'll bring down the thunder here as well. Now, of course, they could go for Leonardo up close. Well, there's another one down. Still sword gain for Ileana, because she needs that. And apart from that, one still bow shot? No, okay, we need someone melee to get in for that one. Probably going to be Nolan then, who will survive another attack, that's for sure. Could have hit him with Leonardo anyway. That was an option for us, just to get the experience, but oh well, failure. Of course, Leonardo would have taken damage, which is not really what we want either. Alright, so we can see the overall attack range. So first of all, Volug, you can rescue there. Well, I don't think anyone else is in supreme peril at this point, by the look of it then. Maybe Meg. Poor Meg being Meg. If I wait there though, oh no, that doesn't remove the possibility of Meg being attacked. In fact, Edward can be attacked now, but to be honest, I think that is fine. And then we've got soft there just in case. We've got a fairly strong front line there when the Peg Knights come over. Yes, he would go for Leonardo. And that was a rush attack, that one. 
And backtracks back up, which means Jill's the only one who can take him on. In the meantime... Edward does amazing and dodges perfectly. Weapon levels up as well. Brilliant. And then you choose to attack Soft. Well, that's a foolish errand. I didn't know I left Soft in range. Who now does not get much experience, of course. Well, that deals with the Pegasus Knight problem and allows us to actually just start walking forward again. Oh, wait a second. Ah. You can't take him down in one go, can you? We've already ascertained that. One damage. Is that all you can really do? Well, the battle lines are drawn. And we literally axed right through you. You can hit me if you like. One damage is not that impressive. So what I need to do is just cant over this way. Funnily enough, Leonardo's got enough HP to survive the next round as well. All the same, if he's got a herb, you may as well use the herb. In fact, this is just the march this way now. If there's no more guys that we have to worry about so much, then we'll drop you, Laura, so you're ready to go next time. By the look of it, then. Okay, you've got a javelin. I was thinking we could lure you in a bit, but maybe not so much as well. Of course, everyone's making their march this way. Don't sacrifice any of your HP, madame. That would be a foolish move. Everyone can pretty much begin advancing. That opened up quite a lot of the way to attack. More than I really was willing to. And if we want someone to be attacked, I guess, to be honest, it's you. Put on the steel lance, I think that should... You're definitely strong enough, let's put it that way. And keep pushing up, keeping Laura protected, and not caring about anyone else. He says with all seriousness. He may as well have full HP as well, I know it's a bit of a waste, but all the same. Now that we can actually start going forward this way... Oh, you're going for Meg? Don't go for Meg. Meg's really bad. How do you not have enough speed to double Meg? I guess it's a lack of strength. All right, as expected, you charge me, of which a steel lance will meet you quite nicely, sir. And round levels up too. Well, that's probably the stats where we need them. A little bit more speed would probably be quite nice at this point. I think you're very much to destroy that opponent after, of course, we take down the one flying high. Right, should we continue to feed experience to Meg? Just to make her possibly survivable? Oh, well, well. You can see the overall hit chance there of awesomeness. Let's bring Leonardo forward and take this one down. Because we get ourselves the extra hit chance after all. Or the extra damage of the bow being brilliant. Peg Knight, next one down. We've more or less cleared the scene. 
of most of our enemies. General Tornio can move forward a little bit. Because what I'm thinking of doing is pulling using Iran here. So first of all, we'll get Lord of Heal. Ah, oh, no, not you! Meg, go away! Great the lore leveled up, but still. Oh well, that was okay. You I want to heal, which means we'd have to do some creative shoving if we want to move you along there. Because then we need to sacrifice to get you up. Well, it's experience all the same. And a little bit extra created, if you know what I mean. Right, the javelin there does not have all that much chance to hit, as I would have hoped to. Because we're about to get javelin anyway, so let's just take this one down. And let the knight move out of place. Which is a very moronic move, in my opinion. But we'll let him do that. As Aran continues onwards, and we continue onwards next episode, the Peg Knights, the reinforcements have been taken out. Now it's just time to assault the main gates as soon as we make it past these two standing right here. Join me next time for more Radiant Dawn. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.